A last minute dash to escape an upcoming night curfew. This drastic move follows a brutal killing of Tsenolo FM current affairs radio presenter. Radikwanelo Joji, popularly known as Le Kashash, was gunned down immediately after his radio program as he exited the premises of the station. I can't state enough how deeply our media industry is shaken by this death. The regional body Misa says while this looks like a setback, it must be used as a fighting chance to elevate issues that continue to put media practitioners in jeopardy. This is one of those things that are really sad, but we can use to actually shout that we need the law enforcement agency to actually take illegal firearms from people who are roaming around Lesotho killing people, including people who are speaking on behalf of the marginalized, like Le Kashash. We have an amount of uh, 125,000 that will be given to anybody who can come up uh, with a story about this. Kobile says, by the look of things, this was a well-orchestrated hit from well-trained assassins. Actually, it's a professional. It's somebody who knows how to shoot. It's somebody who has been trained, who knows this job uh, perfectly, and they did it perfectly. But they have not shot the truth. The truth cannot be shot. It will stay forever, and the people at the end of the day shall be freed. Even the church is concerned. If people don't want to be tempered with, they should not tamper with other things. That will actually bring them to the, to, to the eye of the people. And then at the end, you want to silence the media? You can't silence media. Media is there to stay. Lesotho is facing an uphill battle to find a lasting solution to ever escalating and rampant gun violence of brazen criminals committing this act without fear of any possible consequences. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserolo Sudo.